This AgSafe educational video series is funded in partnership by USDA Risk Management Agency under award number RM18RMEPP522C. This video, Introduction to Food Safety and Good Agricultural Practices, GAPS, covers the following objectives. Review the key concepts of food safety as they relate to covered fruit and vegetable growers in the Southern United States region. Review key legislation that brought about changes for growers. Provide an overview of good agricultural practices, GAPS, that can assist growers and workers. Review the importance of worker training. Food safety refers to the utilization of various resources and strategies to ensure that all types of foods are properly handled during harvest and that they are prepared and stored in ways that prevent foodborne illnesses. As produce growers and workers, you must follow food safety practices to ensure the product you are growing and harvesting is safe to eat. Foodborne illnesses are illnesses that can be caused by spoilage of contaminated food, pathogenic bacteria, viruses, or parasites that contaminate food and other toxins. For our purposes, we will concentrate on the handling of produce during harvesting and the potential risk of exposure. Some of the most common foodborne illnesses associated with fresh produce are E. coli, hepatitis A, salmonella, and shigella. These illnesses can cause a variety of symptoms, ranging from mild to severe, and can even result in death. While not required by law, companies should consider creating a food safety plan. A food safety plan is a place to keep important information about your food safety processes. It can include your company's processes and procedures for the identification and elimination of hazards, as well as your standard operating practices. Growers should follow good agricultural practices. These guidelines are known as GAPS and apply to on-farm production and post-production processes. These guidelines result in safe and healthy food and we will address them in more detail across the video series. In 2011, Congress signed into law the Food Safety Modernization Act, also known as the FSMA, or FSMA. Congress gave the Food and Drug Administration, also known as FDA, authority to regulate some of the ways that food is grown, harvested, and processed. Of particular importance to growers are the specific processes for growing fresh produce that are detailed in FSMA. An extensive list of covered produce is included in the Act. This video series focuses on growers of the following commodities. Tomatoes, cucumbers, apples, blueberries, melons, peppers, strawberries, and cabbage. While certain types of squash and sweet potatoes are not included in FSMA, the safe food practices we cover also apply to these commodities. The introduction of FSMA has transformed how the nation's food safety system helps prevent and respond to foodborne illnesses. Because one of the major goals of FSMA is prevention, the Act includes mandatory produce safety standards. These standards consider naturally occurring hazards as well as those introduced intentionally or unintentionally, and they address factors such as soil amendments, worker hygiene, packaging, temperature controls, animal intrusion, and water standards. Another purpose of FSMA is to grant FDA oversight of growers. This helps to ensure compliance with requirements and allows the agency to respond effectively when issues arise. In 2019, FDA began to audit large growers of covered produce and sent letters informing growers of the potential for these on-site audits. While not everyone will be audited, it is imperative that growers follow good agricultural practices and train their workers accordingly. As previously mentioned, GAPs are a set of guidelines that apply to farms and ensure that produce purchased by consumers is safe to eat. Because most of the fresh produce mentioned earlier is eaten raw and does not go through a cooking process that would kill most pathogens and other harmful contaminants, growers must follow GAPs. GAPs assist growers in reducing exposure to contaminants and minimizing the potential for bacterial growth during production, harvest, and handling of produce. Three major factors that can contribute to the risk of contamination are soil management practices, water source and usage, and farm worker health and hygiene. Through GAPS, these components can be addressed in order to help reduce the risk of contamination on the farm. This video series focuses on worker health and hygiene, work site inspections, and post-harvest activities that fall under good agricultural practices. These practices allow both the grower and the worker to feel confident they are doing all they can to reduce the risk of contamination. Farm workers play a vital role and have a personal responsibility in preventing contamination. It makes sense that worker training is by far one of the best ways to ensure produce is safe for consumers to eat. Training workers can be challenging for growers, but having the right tools, knowledge, and assistance in explaining the need for this training is a great start. People tend to learn best and are most able to incorporate what they've learned when they first understand why they need the required training. 
Growers should find ways to include their workers in the training by providing practical examples, tools, and stories. Workers will be more open to learn if they understand the importance of gaps to the company as well as to themselves as consumers of the product. We have reviewed some key concepts of food safety as they relate across all FSMA covered fruit and vegetable growers in the southern United States region. We have also covered key legislation that brought about changes for growers. We reviewed good agricultural practices, gaps, and how they can assist growers and workers. And finally, we touched on the importance of worker training when it comes to keeping produce safe for consumption. This material is funded in partnership by USDA, Risk Management Agency. For further information, please feel free to contact AgSafe at 1-800-498-9735 or at agsafe.org. The content of this video is based on publicly available information. Such information is subject to change without notice and may be incomplete or condensed. Except where otherwise indicated, the information provided is based on matters as they exist as of January 1, 2020. Such information is provided as general information on the topics presented. Nothing presented in this video constitutes legal advice or opinion to participants or others viewing this material and is not a substitute for professional services. Every situation is different and subject to legislative activity, administrative, or judicial changes in the law. Also note that the views or opinions expressed in the video do not necessarily reflect the views or opinions of AgSafe or express or imply compliance approval by the United States Department of Agriculture Risk Management Agency.